Hey guys, what's up? Behind me is the Cessna Caravan and today I wanted to make a comparison. Which plane is actually better? The Pilatus PC-12 or the Cessna Grand Caravan? Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, having flown a Cessna Caravan, a Pilatus PC-12 and a TBM, I'm gonna give you a quick breakdown. I don't think it's necessarily fair to compare a TBM to a Pilatus because if you can own a TBM, you could probably own a Pilatus PC-12, but the real answer lies into how big of a plane do you really need. If you need a plane that's bigger than your standard TBM, then you're probably better off getting a Pilatus anyway. So this brings it down to the largest single engine turbine aircraft you could buy, which pretty much comes to be the Pilatus PC-12. The Cessna Caravan does come pretty close uh, in terms of weight, the Pilatus PC-12 has a total takeoff weight of uh, 10,450 pounds. Uh, the Caravan is up there in the 8,000 range or close to 9,000. Uh, still not quite as big as the Pilatus PC-12. So which plane actually performs better? We're gonna look at the basic question. How much, how far, how many passengers, and how much payload and how fast can we get it there? So I'm gonna say cruise performance Definitely the Pilatus PC-12 is winning in that category. How fast? So you're looking at an average cruise speed of about 156 knots on a caravan versus a Pilatus PC-12 at 225 knots. And that's just an average. Uh, that's not considering other variables. Because of the high altitudes, you're definitely getting a higher ground speed, which is really crucial in terms of getting to your destination on time. But if you're trying to determine which plane is better, the Caravan or the Pilatus PC-12, what you're hauling really matters because the problem with the Pilatus comes down to the baggage. How much baggage can you fit in a Pilatus PC-12? Not very much. And you have to really look at that. You can't really cube luggage in a way that you can with a Caravan. Uh, the Pilatus just doesn't really have a lot of baggage space. You can definitely make it work with eight people in a Pilatus PC-12, but it does become hard if you're really trying to do the ideal trip of like a ski trip or trying to pack a ton of stuff in the back. Maybe you have car seats or other things that you really need to pack with you. That really makes the Pilatus PC-12 very small in that respect. In comparison to the Caravan, it doesn't have a cargo compartment. So usually the Caravan wins because underneath the Caravans, they typically have a cargo pod. This caravan does not because it doesn't really need one for the type of operation that it's being used for. So the cargo pod on the caravan is just a huge advantage. You can take almost whatever you imagine and throw it under the cargo pod and throw whatever in the back of a caravan and really just get all that extra space that you need. So when we look at and examine the payload on the Caravan versus the PC-12, the Caravan does win in that category. You're looking at 2,600 pounds on average of a payload for a Caravan, and you're looking at about 2,200 pounds for a Pilatus PC-12. The Caravan costs are about $579 an hour if you really were to remove all the other factors and just focus on cost of operation per hour, and that would be like on a very low end versus uh, Pilatus PC-12 is around $770, $780 an hour. And this is all depending on how you have it configured or depending on your maintenance plan, depending on, on a lot of different stuff and depending on the different models. So don't quote me uh, completely on that, but that's just to give you a rough comparison. The Caravan costs on average $2 million uh, per unit. So you're looking at an average Caravan costing around two to 2.5 million. And that's a pretty good estimate on price. Um, now the, the PC-12 on average could cost about anywhere from five uh, million plus or minus. So it, it, it is a difference in price, almost double if not more than double. So uh, if cost is a consideration, that might make the Caravan a little bit more attractive. Also another factor to consider is how many PC-12s are out there in the world currently operating. With the Caravans, you're looking at far fewer in operation right now. So in the future, in terms of parts, the more planes that are operating, the more available the parts could be. So that's another potential thing to think about. So you're looking at an average of about 800 miles in range on the Caravan. And on the PC-12, you're looking at about 1,500 miles in range. So there is a difference. One almost gets double 
than the other. Also, the other thing to consider is how many passengers can you really carry in a PC-12 versus a caravan? Things is the caravan can hold a solid nine passengers. There are variables to that as well. In some other countries, they do configure caravans for 14. But overall, I really think the Pilatus PC-12 wins in a lot of categories. Uh, obviously, the higher cruise speed, the altitude it can make it to. The caravan can take off at a relatively short distance. I mean, the Pilatus PC-12 does the exact same thing. And I mean, by short distance, I'm talking about around 1,500 feet or so. But landing distance, I have heard of people stopping a caravan in around like 380 feet. So I've personally stopped the caravan in around 600 feet. So I, I don't think the Pilatus can match that category. I mean, I'm sure you could maybe if you really slammed on the brakes and really got a good, uh, really slow approach and got all the, the perfect variables in with a very lightweight and all that stuff. Sure, you could probably bring uh, numbers down below what the performance figures are. But what I'm talking about is just on average, you can stop a caravan at a really, really short amount of distance. I mean, it really does perform that well. And that's almost without even using reverse. I mean, that's typically just going into beta and lowering your condition lever. So the other thing is that the Pilatus definitely wins in the way the FMS works. So the flight management system in the Pilatus PC-12 is absolutely amazing. It blows the G1000 out of the water. I know a lot of people do talk about how hard the avionics are to learn in a Pilatus. And while that is true, the Honeywell system does some stuff that is just beyond what you can imagine. It almost takes a lot of the features that you think you want in a G1000 and actually has those features. And once you know where to access those features, it's a very easy system to, to learn and a very easy system to use. Um, versus the G1000, um, I want to say the avionics uh, in, a, in a caravan that does have a G1000, it is good, don't get me wrong. The G1000 is a great system. It's got a lot of really cool features, but I do have to say the Pilatus PC-12 Honeywell Apex system is a bit more superior in a lot of categories. I mean, I can go on for days. That's like a whole nother video about it. So the caravan wins in the category of taking a huge load, whether it be cargo or people with a ton of cargo, but the Pilatus definitely wins in the category of getting you places faster and hauling a pretty comparable load of cargo and people in combination and uh, and the Pilatus is just a real comfortable ride and it gives you a lot more options than a caravan so I do want to say unfortunately the Pilatus PC-12 is a winner but I still love the caravan Thanks for watching guys, I'm John with The Flying Journalism. Uh, hopefully in the future I'll do some more comparisons on some of these aircraft. But I hope you enjoyed this video of the Caravan versus the Pilatus.